started chess one was five and a half years old and the same year went to the primary school okay uh, yes and then even when I came to the Beijing at the National Training Center when I was young, I didn't give up the school studies. And only in those three or four years, when I was like participating like 12 tournaments abroad, plus the national tournaments in those areas, I'm not going to school every day. But still, when I got time, probably uh, I will visit the school and the teachers will, um, let's say, teach me for those main subjects. Or sometimes I'm just going to let's say um, to read some class books things mm -hmm. like that and uh, I'm not like fully mm, entirely give up the studies in any of my so, gr growing up periods so you had a very balanced childhood not just chess no no not not only chess of course chess takes uh, more and more time when I grew up when I became stronger in chess but cannot say that I fully gave up the study that's not the actually not the case and how exactly did the, you start playing chess? How did that happen? Well, um, first of all, it was like um, I'm playing Chinese checkers with my friends. Okay, actually my friends, the, those a uh, little bit uh, older sisters and brothers who told me how to play. And then when I learned this, I could uh, easily kind of won them, beat them. And then my parents thought probably it would be interesting to let her learn a kind of mind games. And in my hometown, if talking about mind games, basically there's only two options, chess or go. And if not mistaken, that's all what I heard later on. I cannot remember all those things happened when, uh, at my childhood. So uh, my mother slightly preferred that uh, I could learn go. Mm -hmm. Because Go considered to be more elegant and more suit suitable for the girls. And uh, she thought it would be, you know, help her to um, uh, stabilize her personality and uh, shaping a better way. And instead, my father preferred me to learn chess because he thought that it's more international, it's more global. And uh, they didn't tell me this, oh sorry, they just uh, brought me to a children's palace, children's training center, and they have go, they have chess, they have dancing, music, all those things that they would like me to pick. And I picked chess. Mm -hmm. mm, I thought probably because of the shape of the pieces. <laughs> because go, it's only white, black, I mean, no character, no, it's, it just seems not so attractive for a young girl, like five years old. So I picked the chess. And the one I learned how to play it, actually, I, ha I expressed a uh, very, um, very, very great fun of it. Because even later on, my mom tried me to learn some instruments, uh, writing, and even trying to make me like have more hobbies instead of, instead of just go for chess. And I learned. But when there's some time clash, because uh, at that time, the education in China is not so high pressure so basically you just need to learn one or two things and study that's it and when there's clash i always choose chess and to give up the other things and uh, so that's why chess become my clear favorite hobbies at the moment and who are the people who help you improve when you are in your formative years oh wow well, there are a few important uh, periods for example, I moved to another province called Shandong in north part of China when I was seven years old. That means after one and a half year of learning chess. And that coach is very important because he basically brought me to the chess world to know exactly what is chess and to know the strategy and some opening knowledge and trying to um, you know, to make me see chess in a new perspective because even before I learned chess, I played well, but that's basically only a practical chess player. You could play chess games because my, uh, my first coach is an amateur chess player and he only has a few chess books. One of them is a very, very ancient chess dictionary. So what he told us is just uh, play, play, play. So practically, I could be good, but strategically, on trying to understand chess, I thought that would benefit it on those areas where I studied in Shandong province. But a little bit pity, I just stayed there for a bit, like one half year. Then that was the tough period for Chinese people because we faced the SARS in 2003. And when this uh, SARS came, everybody stayed at their home. It's simply 
nobody in the streets in the capital cities in the big cities and because of this we also moved back to hometown but that coach is very important himself is also a strong grandmaster he even What's became miss uh, grandmaster tong yuan ming and he actually won our national championship like once or twice when grandmaster Ye, our chief coach more or less dominating the china Chinese, I mean Chinese player, Chinese field. I mean, mm -hmm. so he's quite, um, you know, he he's, he's strong in chess, and he has his own thoughts. He's a very um, unique personality because um, he quit chess as a professional chess player at his best age. So I thought twenty something because he thought even he work hard on himself, he cannot be the next world champion. So why not? He just spend his time, his efforts to. Um, teach the next generation which might become the new world champions so um, that's basically his idea that most all of his students knows that so um, he's a uh, very important one we even keep, um, kept a very good relations even at this moment I mean all those years mm -hmm. he's still be a, uh, he's still a very good coach in China and uh, later I, we, I went to our national training center center and uh, in 2003 where at, after I won the World Youth Under 10 for Girls. And there I also met the chief coach, Grandmaster Ye, who, Grandmaster Ye Jiangchuan, who also helped me a lot, especially when I was growing up, like all those age things, since, uh, since like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And not only training, but the national team, let's say the Chinese team also offered me some opportunities to play in the strong in, in the invitational chess tournaments uh, for those few years I thought um, until some moment uh, uh, when I was 16 or 18 until that moment uh, there I mean I appreciate for their support it actually that also helps in my chess career uh, you find we understand that the way Chinese people work when they are young mm -hmm. and improve is much different from the way other people in let's say Europe or uh, Western world, they learn chess through books, and is that true? Uh, oh. How did you uh, work on chess? Was it through books or through computers, or how was it? Mm, well, for my experience, I I've done both. When I was young, that was mainly also the chess books because the computer is still not that popular. I remember that we have. Uh, uh, some chess books from western countries and some chess magazines as well and also the chess format at that moment was still very popular mm -hmm. which we also learned probably for the new generation there could be some different ways but i don't think that's that's because of the difference between western and chinese that mainly because of the different generation and by uh, generally speaking i have no clear idea how western people works when they were young i'm also curious about that but for us i didn't see the huge uh, for me i didn't see the huge difference i mean probably in the previous years there could be some difference because probably you've heard about the tradition from Chinese team but actually that tradition is no longer exists for at least a decade or two decades at least so uh, do you have any favorite chess books of yours that you remember or mm. that you study in general not have exactly a favorite one but of course my because uh, my favorite chess player is Bobby Fischer and I like his books for sure, his games. And, uh, and also there are some famous chess books uh, that about the end game. Some Soviet Union books as well are very, are very useful. Mm -hmm. And also when, com when the computer and when the engine state base is not as advanced as today, there are also like, um, like yearbook. And also chess in format at that moment, at least for me, it seems like a, a good material so sources.